Hey, what's good? <laughs> I'm in a great mood, my boy. So, uh, this past weekend, my mama got me a tripod. She didn't do it intentionally, but she said she bought two from the TikTok shop because they were real cheap, like $10 or something like that. And she was like, who gonna use it? Her son, of course. Of course I'm finna use this bit. It's my first day using it. I think this bit look, right, this bit look good, my boy. I got a little preview right here of what it looked like. Right. Y'all niggas in trouble. Hey Siri, play Deads by 2 Chains or Migos, actually. Y'all know that song. If you know, you know, type shit. But, you know, um, I, I'm making this video because I wanted to say um, five things I've learned as a father. Plus, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Uh, uh, yesterday, I tried to make a video yesterday, but the way my baby set up, you know what I'm saying, they didn't give me no time for it. So, that's besides that. I'm not finna just blame them or use that as an excuse, but shoot, I had both of them. And last, last year, I had a little break. You know, I, I, I don't think I had neither of them. I was able to do what I wanted to do. I, I just spent that day playing the game for it. But, um, back to what I was saying, uh, what I've learned as a father, you know, just after these two years for real, like, bro, it bit take a lot of patience. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it take a lot of patience for one. Like, my babies, well, Drew, my daughter, she, she be crying like crazy. Like, like, she be crying like crazy. She, ain't be, she sometimes she don't be trying to eat. Lately, she been saying no a lot. Like, she, she funny for real. She been saying no just to, just to say no, just to say no, and then try to feed us. She, she want to feed herself. And then she not feeding herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll try to feed herself, but she ain't getting no food from the fort. Right. Um, my son. That boy right there, he, that boy something else, I tell you that. Uh, he, he, he fine, he's, he's, in, he's in daycare. He, um, he's grown, he's very smart. He's very smart, he in the big boy class and now. Um, from what, I think he was in the one year old, now he in the two year old classes, cause he is two, but he, I don't even know how to explain it. His mom could explain it better, but basically my boy got moved up. He already starting good. So, um, with that being said, uh, I know another thing that I've learned is being more conscious of my decisions and how it affects others. Um, there was a point where I was going to leave uh, my girl right now, you know what I'm saying, just to go, because just to go chase other women, basically, because that's all I really want. But, um, but no, bro, it's it's a, it's now that I'm a father, I have to understand, bro, it's, it's best to keep the family, you know what I'm saying? Keep the family. You don't want another man raising your child, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got one baby mama, bro, at least make it work with that one. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all got to do, figure it out, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have those tough conversations. I just had a tough conversation uh, this past weekend with my brother, telling him how I felt and how I feel like how that shit made me today for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about crying. Uh, I was crying. He don't cry. Uh, I'm very emotional. Uh, but crying, nose running and stuff like that, bro. I'm talking about I'm looking like Tom in the boondocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about looking like Tom, bro. But... It's okay, bro. It's okay to have no tough conversations, bro. It's okay to be vulnerable for that little bit. Because uh, it's life, bro. Um, uh, just another thing that I learned is time is way more valuable than it ever could be. Uh, I say that because uh, before I even had my children, it was more so um, I was able to do a lot of things, such as go play basketball. I wanted to go play some football when I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, uh, just, just the stuff that I wanted to do, I can just go get up and do it. You know? And shit, hell no, it's not like that no more. Like, no, bro, we, we not doing that no more. 
I might take my babies with me though. They might they might come with me to get my car washed. Uh, when it comes to playing sports, they sometimes come with me. It, it depends, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes sometimes I'm able to play and I got my cousins with me. Um, so it just depends on the situation. Making it work like that, I have somebody to watch my babies for real. Um, but we, we'll all go out as a family. I got a pretty big family for real. Um, and we'll just, we'll just play at the park. I'll do my thing and that's just how it works. Um, Another thing I, I learned uh, is how fast my babies can grow or how fast children can grow. Man, it was I just feel like it's been two years now. My daughter's going to be two in November, and my son just had turned two back in April. So they, they, they're they really growing real fast. And I've seen the growth within myself, and it's just like, man. Time is flying, A, but I see my son every weekend. I, I got both of them every weekend. And it's the it's the point of cherishing those moments and making sure to take plenty of videos, pictures. Uh, as I was growing up, man, I, ain't, I don't even remember many pictures or videos that I got of me. So that's one thing that I've been doing as a father, making sure I take plenty of uh, photography of them just to see them. Just to, just to reminisce on how they look, how they was, and stuff like that. Uh, this past Friday, also, I had even, I went late into work just to go to my son's daycare thing. Yeah, they had a little Father's Day thing. They was doing uh, cupcakes and and uh, cupcakes and cookies and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I went and attended that for my son. Um, put a picture up for real. Uh, his mom sent me the picture for it. Uh, but you know, it's 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 all about figuring out how to be a man. I would say that trying not trying to be a little boy, understanding your responsibilities, understanding your priorities, and, and really growing from there. It's a lot of it's a lot of men who do have children who who just don't take care of their children. You know, I think that's so wrong. Um, I know I only see my baby for 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 like just a weekend. My son, that is, I see my son over the weekend. But I'm there every weekend. You can't say I'm not there. You can't say I ain't got him on that weekend, unless his mama got something to do with him. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I'm trying to get to a point where I can spend more time with him. You gotta make little goals like that, right? Cause there, there, I mean, there's there's points where I say like, yeah, I'm a fucking terrible father because I can't do that shit. I can't see my son every week. I can't see him through the week. But the way that my job set up, I go to work at two. And even then, when I was working in the morning shift with this new job I'm at right now, I was making the effort to go see him two days out of the week. So, I mean, I was figuring it out when I had the opportunity. So that was just a little taste when I was on that shift, but now I'm back on second shift. So now it's trying, I'm trying to put in that make it an effort into doing some other things, trying to put some more work into something. Uh, my thing is, is, it's a lot of consistency and focus and discipline I need to do, you know. Um, I, I need to get back into uh, grind mode, I guess. I always say that. I'm always saying, I'm like, yeah, I'm back in grind mode, but no, for real. I've been back in grind mode, though. Um, I'm going to try a few things and see how they work out, for real. And really just gonna go from there um just just need some just need some more income honestly you know i take care of my babies as it is but i still need more for stuff that i want to do i still gotta chase my dream still gotta do my shit so that's how i feel about um i think a lot of fathers no nah, i shouldn't even say that just from my experience just from my experience you know i feel like even though i do have my babies i'm still not i'm still not giving up on the dream i got some shit to achieve I got some shit I want to do. I got my goals, you know what I'm saying? I still got to do that shit. So, um, I guess that kind of tied into my last one. My last uh, thing that I learned as a father is it's not about being the best dad, but, you know, being there as a father. Um, like I said, uh, I spend a lot of time, or not spend a lot of time, on my weekends, I have my son. Like, I'm there, at least. Right. We go to the park every weekend. We're, we're playing, you know, 
playing at the career. He spent time with his fam, with with my side of the family. So it's like uh, it's just being there. I think that's the best thing. I mean, your child needs someone in their life. I mean, even even if you, I call my son through the week too now. But I feel like even if you Facetiming your son, if he if he old enough, I think uh, I feel like ain't nothing wrong with that. Cause maybe you might live in another city. Maybe I live in another state. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna front. I, I still plan on living in another uh, city. I I would like to get out of Jacksonville. <laughs> I was already out of Jacksonville. I was in Texas. I was in Savannah at some point. Um, but I came back for my children. So it's it's just about, it's about sacrifices. So um, I, I definitely still trying to leave. But I got a plan for that. Hopefully that works, but you know, it, it, I'd rather just keep that to myself for right now. But I definitely got a big plan, but I gotta make it first. I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put stuff into play first. See how it work out. I got, I gotta do that first. But trust me, bro. Like I ain't, I ain't trying to be in Jacksonville for long. I seen how it was out there. I'm trying to keep it like that for real. So, but if you made it to the end of the video, though, I really appreciate it. You know what I mean. Shit, if you want to like, comment, subscribe to that bit, hey, go ahead, bro. Um, as you can see, night as you can see, on my page, I don't really see many, I guess you could say fathers. I don't know, bro. I don't know what people got going on, but I, I has, there was a, nah, I ain't going to talk about this shit, but I'm just going to end it right there, though. But I'm going to see y'all later. I really appreciate it. See you next time.